Days away from retirement and still moving from one crisis to the next, having travelled the length and breadth of the world as High Commissioner, she's looking forward to some time away from the spotlight. I've been working non-stop for 50 years and so I feel I've earned my retirement. I was uh, sent out of the country uh, and cheated in participating in our new democracy. I was sent out by President Mandela. I was given the responsibility and uh, it's my job to fulfill that responsibility the best I can. So I have a sense of satisfaction that I've done my best and I look forward to retirement. Um, and, and number one is to enjoy my own country. A lawyer and Harvard graduate, Pele was nominated as the first black woman to serve as a judge on the High Court of South Africa in 1995, but would in the same year be nominated by then President Nelson Mandela to serve as a judge on the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, beginning an almost 20-year international career as an arbiter, both at the ICC, followed by her six years at the United Nations. Throughout apartheid, we, we never had opportunities to be, to be judges or to play a role in our new democracy. So when the country changed, I wanted to play a role there in whatever capacity, mainly as a judge. That's what I mean. So I didn't enjoy the benefits of democracy in my own country because I was serving outside. And now I will go back and, of course, in an informal capacity, I will continue to watch out for the protection of human rights in South Africa and in the rest of the world. Pelé will retire to her hometown of Durban. At a young 72 and as history teaches us, retirement could yet mean many things indeed. Shervin Bricepie's SABC News, New York.